Welcome to Vigi Serve Academy for Patient Safety. Before starting the topic, I wanted to check with you whether all patients recover from the adverse events associated with the medicine. You would agree that some patients do not recover completely or may take time to recover. We will now learn about the event outcomes in pharmacovigilance. By event, I necessarily mean the adverse event. In short, we will be learning about the fate of an adverse event. We will learn about five outcomes of the adverse event. The first outcome is when the adverse event resolves completely in a defined time frame. The second outcome is when the condition improves slightly but yes, it is not as bad as before. The event is then considered to be resolving. The third outcome is when there is absolutely no change in the intensity of the adverse event, and it continues to remain as it was previously. The event is then considered to be ongoing or not recovered, not resolved. The fourth outcome is when the patient dies following the adverse event. The outcome is then considered to be fatal. The fifth instance is where the outcome of the adverse event is unknown. This is common in minimal information case reports, or where follow-up is unsuccessful, or not possible. Besides, we can also have situations, where the event resolves with a sequelae. One example is when a patient experiences rash, as an adverse event, and the rash resolves completely, leaving back, a scar. In this case the event is considered to be resolved with a sequelae. As far as the adverse events are concerned, we often get confused with the terms recover and resolve. That is, whether the event has resolved or recovered. Please note that, a patient recovers from the adverse event, while the event resolves. In short, the term recovery is primarily attributed to the patient. We trust that you now know the various outcomes of adverse events. Please contact us if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Have a nice day.